Hey gamers, how's it going? Um, as you can see, it's 4.30 in the morning, and I just wanted to record it at least. So, um, I got Quinon, the key, which is a visual novel created by Prototype. Now, uh, this is in my game world profile, so I should probably go to my meet. So you can already see a good game world with some sim. Uh, I just chose some sim randomly. <laughs> so this game is... I think based off of the show. I think... The show was based off of Quinod. Um, so voice acting is turned off. This means, uh, so you can play this game, so you can do manual. Uh, so this is could be a series if you wanted, but I'm gonna have to do a video. Skip, read on. So, so you're able to do some stuff like that. So I decided to go. Let's go ahead and start this. The world is covered in white. Snow. Yes, it's snow. You can even say, yes, it's snow. So there are a few buttons, so... Uh, pluses to save. Cancels to, uh, select this just to do something. Uh, the back is to go back. Uh, uh, the little uh, uh, thing right here is on the left Joy-Con is for keywords. Um, that's just look at text. Quick load. And you, you Dangopedia. Uh, Dango, yeah. Uh, return to title screen, yes. Uh, so let's get going. Let's name ourselves. Hmm. Uh, because this game is like really serious. <laughs> uh, now. Okay, so the reason why it's like this is from, in Japan, um, from, I haven't been to Japan personally, but I know my uncle has, so it's sort of, I think, I, it is either a bat or China. Um, so, you're able to change the name, obviously, but the reason why it's set up as last name, first name, which if you can't really see it, um, names in Japan are really hard to say, so people would call um, them by their last name. I was so confused because of my Gamerl profile, uh, people, <laughs> uh, characters started calling me Simpson, so it was weird. Only a few times was I to call you. Here we are. So let's just go for last name will be Gamerl, so people will start calling me that. Gamerl. Okay, Gamerl were last name, which oh, I didn't know uh, the language. Well, that's 
wait, so, hold up. It changes, uh, that. Oh, that's cool. English. So, wait. I think that's Japanese. Okay. Let's go for it. Hmm. I'm spending way too long just picking a name. Um, let's go for single. Yeah, let's just go for Simpson. Oh, we got Simpson. Nah. I'm going... Uh, this game, um... I haven't played the full thing, but... From my... Yeah, so you can't really do spaces. Uh, new game. So we start out at this white area. Uh, the world is covered in white. Just now. Actually, I think this has helped me. Because I normally read really like... I re misread words. Yes, it's snow. Even now, it continues to fall. Coating me in paleness. Ah. Oh! That's cool. And actually, Nathan. Ah. Uh, what could I do? Oh, yeah. Hello. I was in here. My hand is buried in the snow. Or in snow. It's holding on to something. I pull it out. It's a pure white hand. A girl's hand. Oh yeah, that's right. I was alone. I wipe away the snow on her face. Her profile, sleeping peacefully, appears before me. Yes, this girl and I have been together. Here in this world. This empty historical world. This isn't the, um, Konak thing. This is just something else in this. I hate this town. There's just too many memories you'd really rather forget. Okay, this is when Klonak happens. Every day is the same. Go to school, see friends, come home to a place I can't stand. Nothing new ever happens. Oh, did I, did I not save? So, one sec. <laughs> I don't think I saved it. Uh, return to title screen, yes. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it doesn't... I didn't hit save, I think. Simpson... Um, she... You can do voices in this game, but, uh, load, yes, right here. I wonder if anything will change if I keep flipping like this. I wonder if my life will ever change. There's nature almost everywhere you look around here. I guess today isn't just another day of trekking through the mountains to get to school. The trick would be so much easier if I... I could just love it the mall. Another thing a person made. If I were able to go in a straight line, I'd probably save myself 20 minutes. 20 minutes every day. How much time did that save me a year? I, I can't even figure out it too. I tried to do the math in my head as I walked. Ugh, I can't figure it out. 
thing is, um, okay, no, I don't see any students from my school around. This is Main Street to the, this is Main Street to School Room 2. This is the Main Street to School 2. Normally there are students everywhere. Sorry if I do that. I'm not the best reader. Uh, today isn't a big, isn't a vacation day or anything like that either. So I guess we, that means, I'm like, responsible students just don't stroll only to school at this hour, at, at this hour of the day after. So, I'll continue walking at a look. My journey pace I'm pleased by my realization and the, the deserted scene before me. Two hundred meters to fly to the school gates. To school gates. I stand still for a moment. I exhale dejecting dejectingly while gazing up at the sky. Presented by key. There. Stay out of school gates. <sighs> All the way up in the ridge. Whose idea was to put a school on top of a giant slope anyway? Wait, did I miss something? Okay, no. The hill goes on like a never ending thing. Never ending thing now. I never miss this. <sighs> There's another side, but but one much smaller and shorter than mine. I look to my right. A girl is standing there, just as still as me. I can tell from the color of the school and school insignia. <sighs> Since this is gonna be close enough, I've read it. You gotta tell me what some of these words are. That she is also a third year student. But she isn't someone familiar to me. Her hair is short. That that comes to just above her shoulders and shoulders flutters in the wind. She seems to be on the verge of tears. Did you watch Forrest Gump? That movie is like good. As a repeat offender, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered one bit. On the other hand, she's... She... I'm sorry, she can't... She, she, seems, she seems far more concerned. The idea to getting to this... The idea to getting class, but... Wait, this way must be pretty upsetting to her. Yeah. Uh huh. The thing is, I don't know if that's a pure sweat. Like she's nodding her head up and down with her with her eyes closed, as if telling herself something. Then she opens them. She stares up at the school gates. Do you like this school? Huh? Oh, she's not asking me. She's talking to somebody else. She's talking to somebody else. Someone in her head, I guess. I wonder how he, or perhaps she, replied. I really, really, I really, really like it. But I know that sooner or later, everything changes. The fun things. The happy things. All of it. Nothing can stay the same forever. I'm worried I'm not actually crying. She continues to talk to herself awkwardly. Even if things change, will I still be able to reach way here? That's actually really, uh, 
good. I mean, you just have to find more. That's it. <gasps> Cute. <laughs> okay, so maybe she's my wife and just have Sayori now fight me. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry if I offended anyone. <laughs> huh? The girl, the girl looks at me, surprised. Almost and as if she huh, she was alone this whole time. You just have to find me more. You just have to find a little. Then you just have to find more things that are fun. More things that make you happy. That's all. If that's true. It can't be it can't be too hard, right? <laughs> now, of course, the character of the game around, right but Tomoyo is totally right. Tomoya is totally right in this case. If you aren't having really much fun of where you are right now, or what's happening, find more things that are fun. Play with your plushies or something. I don't do that anymore, but if you still do, it's totally fine. Um, find a new games to play, stuff like that. The expression on her face. Ah, yes. I remember those days. What it felt to be naive, simple. That's something we all experienced. Sort of. Come on. Oh, come on. Let's go. Voice crack. We start to climb the hill. The long, long hill. And trying to push back my yawn. <laughs> I thought there was like a crack on the screen, not on the phone. Sunohara. Oh, Sunohara? The teacher calls the student's name. Absent as usual. I look to my side where Sunohara's desk sits empty. His attendance rate is even worse than mine. You see, the two of us are often labeled as a dude. The delinquent, delinquents at school. But that's probably why we get along so well. Uh, he's really the only person in class I can have an honest conversation with. Is it a good one? No. Nevertheless, today's classes begin. I spent them looking out the window. Do not do this when you're in class. As the teacher's voice is now in one year, one, <coughs> one ear and out the other. Plaza's finishes, bringing the school whole day to an end. Sunahari, Sunahari never did show. In fact, the only person I've spoken to all day is that girl from this morning. It's really just another ordinary day. <sighs> Since I'm not part of any after school little club, I grab my empty bag, cut through the pack of jabbering students, and leave the class. Yeah, leave the class. Uh, oh, frick. I'm just. Okay, give me a sec. It's okay. I uh, see the absent as usual. Yes, yes, the blink wins. I could go home, but but there wouldn't any, be anyone else there at the south. Not anyone I want to see, anyway. I don't have a mother. I was told she died in a car accident when I was still a little. I don't even remember what she looks like. After her passing, my father sank into a deep depression, probably due to the shock of it all. Using alcohol to numb his pain, he wasted a he wasted away his days gambling. Do not do this at all. Like, I know the other one I said don't do this, but I know some of you won't do. But if you are feeling extraordinary pain when you're older, do not use alcohol. Do not gamble. I, here's the thing. I never want to drink alcohol. Um, because 
I can feel Tomoya's pain in this. Um, my father was an alcoholic, and he didn't... Uh, Mom divorced him because he drank so much. Um, and apparently when my mom said anytime she drinks some stuff, me and my sisters would cry saying her to me to stop. Because of that, a lot of my time as a kid was, as a kid was actually spent arguing. A lot of the, t a lot of my time as a kid was spent arguing with him actually. But one day our relationship took a turn for the work. He got violent with me. Ever since then, my father stopped showing his emotions. He's also stopped calling me Jit, just gamer out. Well, calling me gamer out coon. <laughs> As if for nothing more than just strangers. And indeed, he's turned into just that at this point. He's retreating me into some kind of sh he's retreating into some kind of shell. As if he's trying to server the presence from the past. It'd be better if he just push, push away completely, or even just keep hitting me. Then at least I know where to stand with him. But no, every time I, no, but no, every time he sees me back at home. <coughs> Back home from school, he brightens up like an old friend visiting and starts bringing and starts making small talk. It hurts. It hurts so much that I can't stand being home anymore. That's why I stay up so late now. I come home. If I come home when I know he's asleep, I don't have to see him. That's why I go to bed at dawn. Of course, then I don't wake up until noon. I've been late almost every day starting high school. I spent my life like this. Almost three years now. Today's no different. I go home to change out of my school uniform, and then leave before my father gets back. The root... The routine practically feels like an ingrain in me at this point. I wander around town aimlessly until nightfall. No matter what, I always end up at the same place. Uh, bento or bento's are low price box meals often eaten in Japan. There you go. Make it acknowledged. Oof. On my way, I grabbed some takeout. So from the only local plate, from the one of the local restaurants. I carried it with me as I walked down the massive hill from from this morning towards the school and dormitory. Our schools pay special attention to its club. So, a lot of the students come from more rural arrows to enroll. Again, sorry, I'm not the best reader. Those students then live here for the next three years, separated from their parents. These kids are practically members of different species when compared to someone without any academic... Without any academic dreams like me. Normally, I wouldn't have... Normally, I wouldn't have anything to do with that, but Sumohara lives here. He used to be on the soccer team, and even was accepted into the school because of how good he was. However, he lost a spot on the on the various team as a freshman after being suspended and from getting into a huge fight with another student from another school. By the, by the time the following year, there's squad. The following year, squad was decided. He was our ready and outcast within the team. He had no other choice but to leave. He doesn't have any money though, so he's 
So he still lives in the dorms where all the jocks are. How many times do I have to tell you? But the falling is nearly all the way down. Sunohara is standing there. He's in front of another room talking to a student in twi about twice his size. It doesn't matter. These walls are paper thin, so I can still hear you. Listen on your headphones or something. Come on, I can't afford this. <laughs> then don't listen at all. I can't get into the zone without it. Plus, I think the music's pretty cool anyways. You should listen to the re lyrics sometimes. They're, they're totally cool. I don't think... I don't think you get it. I don't care if they're cool or not. You need to understand how up this call I am weak. Seriously, if I hear you one more time, I'm kicking you your ass straight out of here. <laughs> Sunohara hangs his head and is still standing in front of the now closed door. Damn it, stupid rugby players. He mumbles words under his breath. <laughs> He won't be able to hear you like that, you know. <laughs> Damn it, stupid luck rugby players. I'm not yelling. Uh, it's like four in the morning. No. Standing behind him, I repeat his words with a yell. Ink. Sunhara grabs my head, get, head and jackets me into my room, into his room. I can hear angry yells of, "Hey, who was that?" Resoning from the hallway. <laughs> Are you trying to get me killed? Yes, I am. You're the one who said it. Listen, Simpson. Exactly what I mean. They call you by your last name. My relationship with my relationship with those guys has been rocky at the best lately. I haven't even been causing any trouble. <laughs> then go. Then let's go out with a bang. I still have another year left here, and you're just gonna live in fear like this the entire time. Like this the entire time? Hey now, <laughs> I don't back down for one-on-one -on -one fights, even if it means fighting one of those rugby guys. But he's not the only guy on the team living here. They were all in rooms around us. I can't make trouble here. Heidi told the out numbers. But I guess I wouldn't mind doing something crazy right before graduation. I'll still be counting on you to have my back then. Alright. Great. I'll be sure to take a shot of my own while you're at it. I'm great at it. You're supposed to be covering my back, not stabbing it. I'm on the rugby team side, you know. Since when? Oh, not now, but I will be when all this goes down. Two years we spent together really mean nothing. We spend together mean nothing to you, really? Boom! The wall shakes. It's rumbled by a. Um, quiet now. Eek! I'll kick the wall right back for you. No, don't. Get scared way too easily. Dude, put yourself in my shoes. He's trying now. Please, just don't make any trouble while you're here. Uh-huh, sure. It's a pathetic display. It has a, such an impact in, on me, I, I give him without thinking. Mm, oh my god. A cottage stew is a low table covered by a heavy blanket used to stay warm. These are primarily used in winter. I settled down in the small area between in the wall and Sunahara, whose ever presence caused Kota's own table, oh, and began to eat. And began to eat my dinner. Sorry, could I get some tea? 
You think I'm gonna serve you tea? Hey, I said sorry. I don't care if you a fun line chase or not. You're not getting any tea from me. What do you think this is, a cafeteria? Well, we're in your room, so I understand that. Uh-huh. And you're my maid here. Yeah, you're definitely... Yeah, you definitely don't get any now. Please, I forgot to buy some. So this is the idea of going out to buy something yourself. Just not re registering. Registering, I can't... No. Perfect. Well, I thought you wanted to do anything you could to be... He's ser of service to me. I saved your life. No. <laughs> what? That never happened. That's what you told me after I saved you, though. The man named Sudahara died a long time ago. Before you stand, his loyal attendant. Attendant. But I... I... Yeah. You know, what a simple tea servant. That's what you said to me. So, tea, please. That's the worst story I've ever heard. <laughs> Alright. Could you get me one last cup of tea, then? I'm not getting you a last cup. Just like I'm not getting you a first cup. But it's such a moving story. You'll definitely like, want me to pour it. Me some once you hear it. You seem dumb for it. After suffering a life threatening injuries, but I, thirsty, ordered you to make tea. Uh, let's see. Yes. So you summoned the last drops of your strength to, to go through some. Even after as you grumbled on all fours, and then, Mr. Simpson, here is your tea, sir. And this cup will be my last. You died with a smile on your face. Dude, I sound remarkably satisfied in that story. Well, it was exactly how you wished to go, after all. You are the last I... Sat there, drinking a bio cup of tea as I cried. Hey, moving, isn't it? So, tea please. Whoops. I already told you no. <laughs> Can someone just meme that? <laughs> I already told you no. I spent the, the rest of my time there reading a magazine. With no TV in the room, there's only really... I can only really do is talk to Sunahara or read. <laughs> yes. Ah, I was weird. I'm out of time to go to sleep. It was late and the date had already changed over. Yeah, I guess so. One line I didn't cross was staying the night in Sunahara's room. Just the thought of waking up in, in the morning to someone like that is depressing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go take a shower then. Okay. Zunahara grabs some underwear and in a towel from under under a heap of clothes in the corner of the room before the corner of his room before before leaving. I prefer to avoid ha having to welcome Zunahara back to his room after a shower. So I'll leave while I still can. I close the magazine and get up off the floor. As I do, I find myself looking at a cassette play tape. There's still a cassette inside it. I try playing it. Out comes the melody of a Japanese rap song that hasn't been popular for a while. Talk about lame. Hey, it's catchy. Who listens to that kind of Who listens to this kind of This would make the first time I don't do anything to his room after he leaves me alone in it, but I guess I'll spare him for today. I decided to leave before Sudahara returns. Oh, I'm cold. Give me a second. <laughs> April 
April 15th, Tuesday. She's standing there again, just like yesterday. And you, uh, you again? Why can't you just go up the hill on your own? Um, well, how can I put this? Alright, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. You don't know me after all. Oh, right. But you really should get to school on time, like a good student. But you're late to school. She points straight at me, her eyes burning right through my heat. Thinly filled red shirts. Forget about me. I. I didn't go away. Unable to. Unable to meet her gaze any longer. What am I. What am I doing? Acting all serious. I've been getting her on the case. I don't know her that well to do that. She's absolutely right, though. She's just much as I think. The clean book, the link one. Okay, so I can say it the first time, but I can't think of the site, say it the uh, second time. She's much as a delinquent as I am. You do what you want. I start. I start at the hill without her. It's just what drew me to her was the fact she didn't really look like a bad student. That's all. Oh, please wait. The voice. Hers. May I join you? So many times, yes. I look behind me to find her standing there quietly. Why? Well, I feel anxious going on. It's kind of odd. It's kind of odd that she's asking me, of all people, someone she doesn't even know. I mean, she has to at least have a friend or two, right? I look at the hills, squinting from the sun's blinding glare. <sighs> hey, hey, hey. Eh, it's not too far away. And yeah, she's got nowhere else, no one else to go up with right now. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Do what you want. I started walking up the hill again, repeating myself. Please wait. Please wait. What? No. The girl eyes me, just looking... Just looking as though she... Oh, I have to She's deciding on what she is looking at. I'm taking a picture. I'm sorry. She's adorable. The girl eyes me, looking as though she decided whether to say what's just popped into her head and then and pen it's a re and pen is a sweet roll that's filled with red bean paste and it's commonly offered in Japan bakeries, supermarkets and schools. A single word is all that comes out. Uh, I should even reply to something like that. Maguette. 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 <laughs> Blah? Blah? What does that say in that? Yeah. Blah? No, Anaya. Blah? <laughs> I really don't understand what you mean. You took... You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just gonna say, I was just gonna say that to you. Well, so what? You like hand pan or something? Is that it? Not particularly, but it's not as fast. I hate it. I guess it's more. I guess like I like it more than just like it. I do. Talk about beating around the bush. It's not. It's not like I really care either way. Oh, all right. Well, let's get going. Okay. <laughs> She's so freaking adorable. <laughs> let's look at her. There's a newfound energy in her response. Maybe that was some kind of weird magical spell she cast. <laughs> 
just now. I don't know how to put on Kobe. I don't like them. I don't care if there's no two words. The bell rings. I think the period. Um, come on, just. Hmm? Someone calls out to me unexpected. I turn and face the swords. Oh. Were you Fuji Bash? Were you Fuji Bash? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. She's the class president, I think. Or rather, she's the girl that was battled up with the responsibility of being class president. If I remember correctly, she's Q's younger twin. She insecurely darts her eyes left and right as she's standing right next to my desk. Um, um, sorry about that good with you to go for. It. Yep. Here. She hands me a sheet of paper. She says as she hands me a sheet of paper. A love letter. It's not. You're you are bolder than you look. It's not that easy to just hand that to me directly. Um, it's not a love letter. Is it a chain letter then? It's kind of mean if you hand it. Hand it to me nonchalantly. I don't think it's a chain letter either. A letter of challenge? Mm. Hmm. I'm just gonna say cute uh Ryu or just because I don't want that is like Fuji Bosca Fuji Washa flashes and precious as a paper against my chest. It's a handout from this morning in the phone room. Oh, lame. I tossed it into my desk as drawer without so much as looking at it. It's probably nothing important anyway. Don't do this, kids. Don't even do it. Do you need something else? Um, I think we should try and come to the school on time more often. That's no concern of yours, right? But I think it would be better if you came on time. So you think you can start taking up classmates' attendance now? Oh, I thought you were class pres. That's not it, but... Well... Her eyes start to water. I guess that's a little too much. I'm sorry, I'm a bit far. I gotta apologize, I'm sorry! I... Really curious of... Yeah. Uh, what if I eat more? Hey Simpson, don't make the class pres cry, okay? Otherwise her sister will come in. Uh, I feel so much guilt. Apologize. I'm sorry. I have to. I have to. I'm sorry. I went a bit far. No, I was out of line. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, so. Hey, Simpson, don't make the class press cry, okay? Otherwise, her sister will come after you. Her sister. Her sister. Her sister will come after you. It's okay. I'm not crying. You can't say that when you're on the verge of tears. You can't. <laughs> In any case, no tears back have actually come out. Let's just say she isn't crying. Well, I'll consider it. <clears throat> yes. But if you could, please try not to be late. Uh, sorry, I'm not... I don't know if this is my Lisa's voice or Lee's voice. Lori's voice. No. I... Mm, With that, hey, Ryu takes out a deck of cards from her shirt pocket, then gently but clumsily begins to shuffle the deck. I don't have any cards, so I'm just gonna wash it from my fingers. There you go. 
I got sound effects. The pipe scanner was splendidly across the floor. Oh. Last year, she picked him up off the ground and she started shuffling him in. She manages to do it this time. Yes! Here's another thing I'm, I'm going to take a screenshot. Uh, re he, yeah, Ryu will clumsily dance out the front and holds him out towards me. Hmm? What's this? <coughs> um. Sorry. <clears throat> I am throwing my throat. Um, go ahead. Should I pick one? Uh, please, pick three. Oh, it's still dark. Jesus Christ. Sorry, it's just like, it's dark. Please, pick three. I have no clue what's going on. Is, this, is she trying to show me what some sort of card trick? In any case, I take three cards. Please show them to me. Here. She stares at the three cards I have chosen. Oh. Hmm? Simpson Queen. He'll be late tomorrow. She's trying to pick a fight. Hey, didn't you just tell me to come on in time? What's this about? Um, un um under high school there will be an old lady who have who will have trouble crossing the street. You'll be late because you help her. But she'll be great be grateful for your help and give you some money for your trouble. Wait a second. Why is your fortune so detailed? <laughs> That's true. I mean, is that wrong? Why is it detailed? I wouldn't know that if you're using a tarot card for each month. Unless playing cards. How can that be possible? <laughs> you don't question. You don't question the Almighty One. You know, keep. How can you? How can you possibly tell all that would happen just with numbers and suits? It, it, it's the girls in the suit. Her six sense this whole forest pop. On top of that, she's pretty confident about it. Could it be that you actually don't want me to come to school? And that's not it. It's just what the fortune said. Okay, then I absolutely won't be late tomorrow. What's this? Eh? Even if I come across the old... <laughs> I can't. I would, I would not be able to do that. The guilt would stab me. Even if I come across an old lady in trouble at the, the crosswalk, I'll pretend I don't see her. I don't think that's nice. Nice is an under... Not nice is an understatement, Guru. You should help other sooner than me. No, help man and her. This character's mean. <laughs> But, you know, uh oh, huh, that's the bell. There, the bell's ringing. Go back to your seat. He, yes, upon these things, oh, Ryu had the bed, had the floor seat with her shoulders through. She, she's making me feel depressed. Um, hmm? Please don't take the fortune too seriously. She said, she says and trots into her seat. Maybe she's really trying to pick a fight after all. I haven't been told such a weird fortune. I am feeling kind of blue. So I press my head on the table after her period. I hear a thud from the seat next to mine. Um. I look up to see you see no harm is reclining in his chair with a satisfied expression painted on his face. Good morning. What a great start to the day. It makes you want to say bum the head. You ought to be thanking me your morning, but it's only peaceful because thanks to my gener generosity. Eh? What does that have to do about? 
Nice my mornings, Ben. He must be making stuff up again. <laughs> nice one, dude. I listen to my favorite hip punk songs, drink my coffee. I'll admit, Bob Ahead is a good song. <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice knowing that no one can put a damper on my morning, mornings. That's good to hear. I'll be sure to do something merciless, merciless next time I mess with him. You know, I can rec I'll record you a copy of my mixtape. That way you can start off your day with it too. I'm not interested in bombing any heads. Are you making fun of the song? No. No, but you keep talking about those hip hop mix of your stories, and that song isn't even hip hop, it's straight Japanese. What are you talking about? <laughs> that song is undisputed gold and standard of hip hop. You're not getting into a debate about this. Anyway, bring a tape next time. I'll make you a copy. I said I don't want one. Whatever, I'm going back to sleep. Didn't you just wake up? I did, but there's no point in staying awake. You are really a quin quintessential role model. Okay, good night. <laughs> He rests his head in the table, unaffected by the fact that he's he's in the middle of a class of a classroom trying to catch a nap. Trying to catch a nap. Catch a nap. Browsing in the need. I have to literally. <sighs> <sighs> Probably caught by it. Probably caught his drowsiness. I look at the table ahead of me to figure out what the subject for period is. That thin textbooks mean English grammar. The teacher constantly calls on me. Might as well sit through it. Sinohara is sound asleep. Sinohara. I grab his shoulders, giving him a good shake. Hmm? Huh? The teacher just called on me. And the teacher just... Seriously? What's the question? You have to sing your favorite dance song. Uh, okay. So the heart of you jumps out of his knee and stands. Let's go. Won't you take me by the hand, man? Some... Something, some... Something, something, man. Do that, do that, do that. Do that, do that, do. He screams out his answer. The teacher turns around, his shark held close to the blackboard. What was that, Tsunahara? Huh? Let's go, won't you take me by the hand? Something, something, man. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do, do. I didn't call on you. The sounds of muffled laughter begins to envelop the room. <laughs> I feel bad. Ah, uh, sip, sip, you punk. You humiliated me in front of the whole class. Mama. <laughs> Let's get on. Oh, take my hand out. Mama head is a really gold standard of hip hop. Okay, I'll admit that it's. It's a good song, but it's not a uh, hip hop song. I know. Oh, that was me. That was a uh, uh, Simpson thing. Bomba oh, has a really good standard of hip hop. I know, right? His moon brightens immediately. <laughs> how how he manages to go from utterly bashful to happy to grueling. So what should we do for lunch? If you have money, let's go somewhere else on campus. I'm broke. The school cafeteria is then. The two of us stroll down the hallway. Up. Yes. No. Sinohara suddenly leaps into the air as he reaches for the ceiling. Apparently showing off how high he can jump. 
Did you see that? I hit the ceiling with my first knuckle there. That's nothing. <laughs> Impressive, right? I'm dazzled beyond words, let me tell you. And I'm not even trying my hardest either. <sighs> if I gave it every everything I tear my uniform, so you know, that's why only why I halved it. <laughs> Half did it. Mm -hmm. How thoughtful of you. Because you always cared about so much about that uniform. I probably just freaked up the smell. Ah, crowd as ever. It'll be fine. We'll hit it Oh no! I just have to push through. Just push the freshman out of the way. Okay, this is our seat. Soon enough, how says with a smile to a bunch of freshmen who are seated chatting. I don't want to think I'm associated with him. I buy a food ticket and then exchange it for a. The Katsun Udon. A Katsun Udon is a Udon, a noodle soup using thick wheat flour noodles, usually served hot. Topped with the sweetness of fried tofu. Pieces of fried tofu. I bring it to an open seat near the corner of the room and sit down. <laughs> Probably got louder. Whoa, hold on, Simpson. I just got a set of seats over there. Oh, I know who it is. <laughs> Soon the car comes running to me, holding his lunch tray. Okay, this is my seat thing. Please get, get out of the way. He tries to move the student in front of him, just like he tries to do with the freshman so he can sit next to me. <laughs> This oh. <laughs> What did I say? But this student is another third year. He's on on the rugby team and on top of that, he's sitting with the rest of his rugby pals. What? You want us to move while we're still in the middle of our meal? Eh, sorry. It's not your <laughs> So you would have made so you would maybe move the while I was still eating if I were a freshman? No, that, of course not. Wait a minute, that's the guy who kicked me. Wait a minute, that's the guy who kicked me out of my seat. Hey, a freshman on the rugby te team who was sitting with him and out loudly announces the fact. Hey, thanks for snitching on me. You don't do that. Okay, okay, I get what's going on here. Come on, we're taking this out back. Eek, this is all just a big misunderstanding. See, now how I get snapped by his neck and then... Ah! <laughs> I'll try and go back. Go back. <laughs> he just gets dragged out of the way. Ooh. He's dragged off. <laughs> I leave the cafeteria as soon as I finish my lunch. Ew, that was a disaster. Look at that girl. Look at that girl. You see her over there? A girl by the window is pointing at out my talking to a friend of next to her. She's eating bread on her own. She looks like she's munching away at as fast as she can. Isn't that cute? I wonder what class she's in. I haven't seen her around that much. Those rooms are enough to give me an idea of who it is. As I draw between the two looking down in the courtyard, I see a girl you know, on the side. Hey, I have some stone sex. Eating by herself is her. My wife will. So, you know, her probably will be back for a while, so I guess I'll just see how she's doing. Hey. I approach the girl and call, call out to her. Why are you here all by yourself? Hmm? She's really eating it. She really is eating ant pan. I probably tripped up a a pan. Hey, did you hear me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of eating. She stops eating to answer me, but that's it. I see. I decided to sit next to her. 
uh, and wait. I can see how the do the window and the other side of Roku. I'm looking down for really and I can see I can see the wind I can see up to the window I and the others were looking down from earlier. No one's there now. While she's finishing an pan finishes her an pan, she begins sipping a carton of milk. Oh <laughs> I remember doing something stupid. I like drink about four cartons of milk. <laughs> It was at like school. I, I just had like a whole bunch. <laughs> that was the milk. It's the milk woman. And that's what I said. This is like, I had like this so much milk. I was like, oh. <laughs> no. Um, why are you out here? Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh. I was just wondering why you were eating lunch out here all by yourself. Do you like this school? I've heard those words before, but this time she's asking me. Well, not particularly. I see. <sighs> I really, really like it. But nothing can stay the same forever. It's true. The fun thing, the happy thing, all of it. It all eventually changes, you know. Those are all words I heard yesterday morning. <laughs> and that's why you can't feel the same way about this place now, huh? I finished the end of her sentence. Yes, that's right. Can you be more specific? I really don't understand. I had to take a lot of time off of school because I was sick. You were... Yes. How long? A long time. Huh? Okay. Then what? I get school stops being a place where I can have fun. I still don't really understand what you mean. You must have had friends, right? I don't know if I would call them friends, but there were a few people I could talk to. They don't necessarily. They don't necessarily have to be good friends. Just as long as you have someone, that's what matters. That's true. And they don't. Um. Me and Jade are the best friends, and I can talk to him. Me and Abby's mom are good friends. I can talk to him. And. Um. I haven't really been uploading that much. I mean, I have, but um, I had to delete them because I couldn't. I, I wasn't actually supposed to upload. Um, but at the time in July, um, I really couldn't tell anyone what happened. Um, my. My grandmother, my great grandmother, uh, she passed away. Like I think she passed away in her sleep or something. That's how we all want to go out. Not of a heart attack. Just she she lived a good life too. She was like ninety four. She lived a good life. And the thing is, the entire day, I just felt I felt so guilty. I hadn't seen her, like, I hadn't even talked to her in, like, since fourth grade, um, like, two years ago. Like, I just felt, like, I never got to see her. And, of course, I couldn't see her because of this pandemic, but, I just want to see, I just want to I didn't go to the funeral, um, or I didn't watch it because I, I wouldn't be able to handle it. <sighs> I can barely handle most things, <laughs> um, sad moments, but I just lost so many people. Anyways, let's keep going. 
So basically what you're saying is you took time uh, you took time off because it's hard to talk to your friends. They formed into their own group while you were around. Is that about right? Are your friends really that heartless though? I mean, I don't have that many heartless friends. I mean, I have one toxic one. I mean, technically, typically speaking, most people would welcome someone back with open arms after a situation like that. No matter how long it's been, it's true. Uh, a lot of people, um... When I broke my wrist, um, like, Silly Man was, like, worried, like, dude, what happened? But when I broke my foot, um, like, I was just talking to him what happened. Um, so I tried to take a picture, because I broke my foot in the snow, broke in the ice. Um, but he spread the rumor that I jumped off the deck again. Or I jumped off the deck. <sighs> like, if you don't, if you assume that's what happened, but you don't know it, don't, do not spread rumors like saying that it happened. He won't welcome me back. All of them, they must be heartless. No, it's my fault for being away for so long. I only had spent a little time with those girls. And, no, they aren't the school any longer. Why? Why not? They all graduated just this spring. How long were you away for? Nine months. I see. She must feel like a transfer student at a brand new school. <clears throat> Considering the circumstances, how could she not? I feel like Urashima Taro. Um, Urashima Taro is a character from Japanese folklore who is taken under the sea after rescuing a turtle, who only, only to his villain. Only to who returned to his village that that discovered that three hundred years had passed. It I S is similar to Rip Van Winkle in America. Is an American culture. That's one way of putting it. Makes sense though. I think we should stop here. Uh, just because it's been getting to an hour, and I kind of want to start doing my own thing as the sun comes up. I will be doing another episode of this because this game is really fun. Well, it's not fun. Well, you understand what I mean. It's just really good. It's amazing. Um, the music in this game is amazing. Um, and there is an actual anime of this, so I may be reacting to some of it. Um, anyways, I'll see you next time. This is also on the Reddit thing. The reason why is because I'm not supposed to be uploading on YouTube. So that's going to be the thing where it's going to be at. Anyways, see ya.